2010, 141-pound D1 NCAA national champion. I just wrote that one time. And I wrote it once before bed, and once in the morning. And then next year, so I'd write it twice in the morning, and twice before bed. And then I was going for three, and I was like, well, you did two last year, and you did one the year before, so you might as well do three. So I'd write 2012, 157-pound D1 NCAA national champion three times. And this year, I was like, all right, well, now i got to write it four times. You know, this is, this is what I have to do. So I wrote it four times. I, I wrote it eight times a day, always in sets of four. If I wrote it once, I had to write it three more times. So that's kind of just how it was. And it is completely insane but it kept me sane. <laughs> Kyle Dake in the red singlet out of Cornell, the true freshman. And that's Kid Dynamite right there. Turn it all around. Coming out the back door, Dake scores the takedown. Best finish in school history. And Dake has become the first freshman at Cornell to win an NCAA title. An impressive performance for the 19-year-old. Kyle Dake. The defending national champion moves up to the 149 class. He, he takes it personally when he gets taken down in the room. He takes it personally. I mean, it's, it affects his soul almost. The thing about Dake in this tournament, no one has scored on him yet. Kyle Dake, a two-time national champion. Kyle Dake, gunning to become the first ever wrestler with three titles in three different weight classes. For the first time ever, we've got a national champion in three different weight classes. We've got 156 days, 20 hours, and 10 minutes. You guys came here to wrestle, go to school, and that's it. As far as my concern from now this point on. So anything you're not doing is, that's not studying, wrestling, eating, or breathing is an absolute waste of time. Every single fiber in your body has to believe that you're going to go out and win that match. Everybody wants to be tough when the match starts. That's easy. Toughness is, is doing all the work leading up to the match. And it's not just the four titles and four different weight classes, but it's the ambassador himself. When he's on the screen, and they're on there, and you look away. And then there's people on the screen where you do, you do a double take, and you look and go, and you follow it and wait till they're done. And I think he's that second guy. Three days, man, three days. You are so ready, you don't need to do a damn thing except get there, show up, make weight, and win some matches. You know, my mom told me I could do anything. And I'm sure a ton of moms actually tell their kids that, but they probably tell them, you know, 10 times maybe. Um, I'm, I think my mom probably told me like four times a day. But I think with Kyle was his ability to adapt like that. If you beat him on one thing, you're never gonna do it again. That wouldn't have occurred unless he got better and better every year, and he did. If there was a fight you'd never give up, make it a fight ever, ever. Kyle Dake of Cornell trying to make history, becoming the first ever to do it in four different weight classes. Here we go. Just keep writing your goal every single day, every day, every day, every day. Just write it down. And uh, you know, you'll believe it soon. I mean, I already believe it. Just gotta, you know, need those constant reminders. Keep telling yourself. National champ, 2013, 165 pound D1 NCAA national champ. That's what it is. And that's what I'm gonna be tomorrow.